There is great money to be had in the hacking sites for the Crimson Harvest, and we've got fits for high sec and more dangerous areas for you. So if you want to make sure you get every single skin and make billions during this Halloween event, you came to the right place. Ladies and gentlemen, Loru here, digital advertiser, content creator, and Eve enjoyer for the better part of 10 years now. And this is the Astero, but we're actually not going to start with this. No, no, no. We're going to start with the more dangerous fit first. I give you the Metamorphosis. It's a funny looking ship that packs a punch. Now, this is the ship you're going to be taking into low sec, null sec, wormhole space. We have it primarily fit for null sec. That's it. Now, why the ship over the Astero is for a couple reasons. First reason is we are going to get that two plus warp core strength innately. This coupled with our warp core stab is going to make it nearly impossible for a solo ganger to lock you down. And one of the more overlooked things about the metamorphosis is you get a mobile depot bay that holds two mobile depots in it. So you can swap between your relic and data analyzers in space without using up that precious cargo. This lets us get the cheaper modules and keep the cost down to 117 million isk. We're going into dangerous areas. You got to expect to lose the ship. Bring in the big box is not recommended when you're in this kind of paper thin ship. And with all that said, let's dive into the fit. The highs are pretty self-explanatory. You got the covert ops moving safely from A to B. Now bring the best probe launcher you can within reason. We're using the Tech 2 version, not the Faction one, because I wanted to save on some cost here. We are using the Faction ammo, that's it. Now we are going to get 99 points of sensor strength. No clones, no nothing. This is just with the fit you see here. So if yours is a little bit lower, update your scanning skills. For the mids, we have a relic or data analyzer. You're going to bring the data analyzer with you in your cargo hold. We have a single medium shield extender too. We'll talk more about tank in just a sec. A compact micro warp drive. You don't need to really splurge on this. Just get one that makes you go fast. In the lows, we have a damage control too. For the slot, that is the single best bang for your buck. We have an inertia stabilizer too. We'll talk more about your align time in just a sec. And then finally, a warp core stab too. Now the rigs are a little bit spicy. We have two small core field extender twos and a single polycarbon engine housing. And this is rounded off with four EC300 drones, your anti-gank measure. Now we went through that pretty fast for a couple reasons. How you should be fitting this ship is to really go after the win conditions that the metamorphosis has. You need to be sure that you are scanning stuff down fast, but when you're hacking, you are vulnerable to be hit by gankers. This is why we are going to be running just a wee bit of tank. Now, all of our tank together is going to give us just shy of 6,400 EHP. You are going to get a sub two second align time at a near 400 MS, just base with no afterburner or micro warp drive going. Once we activate the micro warp drive, we are going to be going 2,900, just shy of 3k. We are able to get this sub two second align with the increase in speed due to two things, and that's the inertia stab and the polycarbon engine housing here. Now, the inertia stabilizer is going to primarily affect these stats here in the red box, and the polycarbon engine housing is going to affect these stats here in the blue box. And depending on where your skill's at, you want to prioritize getting your align time to sub two seconds. Now, let's talk about the warp core stab. Some of you might be saying, Laura, you already got plus two. Why are you running this as well? Typically, a solo ganger is going to have a two strength point and a one strength to disruptor, do a total of three. That's some quick math for you. With these two together, you're going to have a total of four warp core strength. This means that a solo ganker that doesn't have some blingy modules is not going to be able to lock you down. This plus your tank means you're going to be able to tank a couple shots. And then because you have such a fast align time, you're going to be able to pop this warp core stab and get away. And it's for this reason only that we are going to take the metamorphosis into null and low sec and not our Astero because of the warp core strength. How are you going to get into null sec? Enter in the Potchfin Express. That's these items here. Now, this does need an entire video dedicated to it. So if you haven't seen our Potchfin Express Guide, check the top right corner. We're also going to link it in the pinned comment. Enjoy it after this video. In layman's terms, you're going to bring these modules to get into null sec and these modules to get out of null sec. And it's pretty safe, all things considered. Now, as far as how to fly this, as well as that Astero fit, we got that coming up in just a moment. As many of you know, we are EVE partners, and that means the devs give me skins to give away to you. And we do this every single video, and that means we give away hundreds of millions of ISK every single time we release a video. So in order to win, you got to do these three things. You have to be subscribed. My bot's gonna know if you're not subbed. You already know the drill. The next thing you gotta do is go into the comments and type use code LORU. That's right, we have an affiliate code so you can get the same Eve items you're already buying for cheaper. Check the link in the description. Type use code LORU into the comments to be entered into the contest. And finally, you gotta put your in-game name in the comments below as well. I gotta know who to send the contract to. You do those three things, you'll be entered into that contest. And seriously, y'all, we just announced our affiliateship with Marquee Dragon Shop and y'all have been enjoying it. Hmm. It's just been so 
so great to see y'all get the same items you were gonna buy for cheaper. Thank you very much for just shy of 7,300 subs as of the recording of this video. Let's keep growing together and change New Eden for the better. All that said, let's get back to the fits. So the Metamorphosis is what you're gonna use in Null, but the Astero is what we normally take into High Sec. It doesn't get the Warp Core strength that the Metamorphosis has, but we don't really need that so much in High Sec. Ganking is not as prevalent. The thing the Astero does have is more module space. This means we can outfit it to fight against some of the competition. And most of these modules are pretty similar, so we're not gonna go through the whole fit, we're just gonna focus on the differences. You'll notice the Astero is way more expensive. That's primarily due to the bigger hacking module. We're using the Ligature Integrated Analyzer. This thing by itself is 150 million-esque. There's a reason for that. It lets you scan both data and relic sites in a single module. Because High Sec has a bunch of competition. People are flying all over High Sec trying to get these sites. By the time you're done fitting your relic or data analyzer, the site you just scanned out is gonna be taken. Time is of the essence, which is one of the reasons why we do also have a sub two second align. This is gonna be to the low friction nozzle joints and the inertia stabilizers in the low. The kicker with the Astero is we are gonna be moving quite fast, just shy of eight AU warp speed. This is due to our hyperspatial velocity optimizers and our limited hyperspatial accelerator in the lows. These increase our warp speed. You moving this fast is gonna let you get ahead of all the competition. While well, everybody else is moving five AU, four AU, you're going nearly double their warp speed. This means you can get to the sites faster, scan them down and keep on moving. Now the final one here that's a little bit silly is the cargo scanner in the mids. Now you don't need to cargo scan any of the Tetramon or the Crimson Harvest sites. I have this in here because I've been finding a bunch of ghost sites in high sec, more than normal. Now the cargo scanner is gonna let you cherry pick those ghost site cans. Cause as you know, you can only get one, maybe two of those ghost site cans before your ship literally blows up. If you find one of those spooky ghost sites, don't lose your ship. Cargo scan the most valuable can, get it, and then get the heck out. Finally, we are gonna be running four Hornet EC 300 drones. Again, just your standard anti-gank measure. Now let's go show you some in-space action. We were able to find a Tetramon network node pretty easy with all of our scanning skills. I'm gonna pause the video right here. It's really important how you fly the Astero in high sec is gonna be identical to how you fly the Metamorphosis inside a low. Do this and you'll never be ganked. You'll see that I'm orbiting this node at 2K. We are close enough to loot this node, but far enough away that should somebody warp on grid, we can bug out and press cloak immediately. Assuming you're not close to any other collatables, you'll be able to cloak instantly. And then because your base speed on the metamorphosis is a little bit higher than normal, you'll be able to just slow boat away and fade into nothing. So here's your first tip, always orbit the node at 2K. Now, right now we're trying to solve this hack puzzle and you're gonna see that I'm constantly de-scanning throughout this. I have my de-scan set up in such a way that I am doing a full 14 AU around with a 360 degree angle. I wanna be sure I know everything that's around me in this case. You have to try to keep a sharp eye out for stuff that may or may not be coming to kill you. Now, if you're in null, really anything on here you have to be aware of. But in high sec, we see a rattlesnake. This guy's clearly doing the Crimson Harvest sites. We see a Tyra. This is a hauling ship and a single capsule. I'm not really worried about that. This Nighthawk 2 is definitely doing the Crimson Harvest sites. All these we don't have to worry about. In high sec, what you should be looking for are roaming bands of Catalyst, Corsairs, really any destroyer. If you see more than four destroyers on this list, time to get the hell out. Make sure that you have any known ganking corpse marked red. That way, when you're looking at local, you can see their names as they pop up. So if somebody warps into local from one of these, you have a nice red dot next to them. Typically, these ganking corps send scouts out to see where the juicier targets are. Once you're done with one of these, you're gonna lock on to the next one, orbit it at 2K and keep on hacking. If there's another ship on grid with you, you can use the cargo scanner to see which one of these has more valuable loot. Make sure while you're hacking, you also have your event window up. You wanna make sure you get those free points so you can get your skins. Now let's talk about how to bow out with grace. You've scanned down the site, you've completed all the nodes, you've looted all the nodes. What do you do next? Now, typically what I do is I double click into a point in space. I activate my MWD and we just get as far away from some of these collidables as possible. Once we're far enough away, we cloak up and we just kind of fade. These sites look pretty awesome, don't they? I'm kind of covering the loot here, but I was able to do three sites in high sec and all of this came to about 210 million isk. This isn't counting this big blueprint here that we got to. And again, this was high sec. We made out like bandits, baby. Now we got a big stream coming up in a couple days where we're going to be doing the Crimson Harvest sites all day, as well as a bunch of skin giveaways, some fleet action. So make sure you don't miss that. The video is right here. And y'all, thanks again for getting us close to 7,300 10Ks in sight. We're gaining more subs than we ever have. Twitch is popping off. We're in Twitch partner numbers. So make sure you keep subbing to YouTube to get access to all the things. Thanks again, y'all. We'll see you in the next one.